Good afternoon, Cousins Own the Canadian Redneck here. It is the F1 weekend in Montreal. It started, well, basically I went on Friday after work. I came home, got the dog, who is whining for the ball again. Uh, and we went for a walk, as Loki has to get used to being around larger crowds of people. He did incredible. But I, on the other hand, here we were, surrounded by cars, and there's these women in the skimpy dresses with the cars, being gay. Eh. But there was a few guys that weren't so bad. Um, and so I'm looking around, and I saw a truck selling. There's turkey legs for $6, you know, like, you know, less fat than chicken kind of thing. But, you know, I didn't have 6 bucks, and I can't take the risk of eating anything. So I went looking around, and water bottles were $2 a pop. So I was like, yeah, I'd rather buy, like, a liter of spruce beer. Thank you. You know, um, but here I am in the middle of F1 weekend, and there's cars coming out of everywhere. And out of the, nowhere, in the middle of all this, toy booth. Not and I I guess maybe they were selling. I saw that like you know people selling scale models of cars or whatever. But I was attracted to a rack of toys which were built kind of like Trolls 2.0. You remember Trolls? You know the funky hair with the little jewel in the belly and all kinds of stuff. Well, I came across these, which I thought were pretty cool. So I got this one, uh, who is called. Da, 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 da. Uh, this is Birchy. And Birchie is the tree self, and his self power is the helper. Like believe in yourself, is what this is billed as. This is kind of a new thing. This costs like six bucks, and I got one, but then I was getting one, and I was like, yo, okay, I believe in myself, yay. But I'm like, there has to be more than this, so I got. The next one, which was like the water one, this is the mermaid, uh, mermaid, and that one is to explore. So this is, you know, for going to PEI and all the other stuff like that. And it's got little, it's, it's so cool because it's got like little, little gills and, and like the ears are different on this one. And I, I really enjoyed that. And... I couldn't resist. I mean, I can't just buy two things because my, my one of my favorite numbers is like three and nine are my, my numbers for me. And I came across the all the all white one, which is like, uh, you know, they build it as a snap jack, which is basically the Jack Frost. And this is the, like the Frost self. And this one is for uh, imagination which is very, very important to me. It's gotten me through a lot of stuff in my life, is having a good imagination. So I had to get this one. So I've got three of these, and there's quite a few of them available, which is pretty cool. And then like try, try to find the, the rare ruby one, but I, it's like, I saw the dragon one, and I was like really close to getting it, but you know the, there's a fox one and stuff like that. They're all fun. So I, of course, picked that up along... Uh, along the way and uh really didn't look at car stuff because after seeing camper vans like this class b campers cars trucks and everything else have paled in my vision and i am so looking for a camper van or a van that i will one day turn into a camper and but my luck is I saw the perfect camper van. It was around the price that I could afford. I wrote an email to the person who had the camper van, and I was waiting for a reply. I waited a couple days, and then I was like, wait a minute, are they in Toronto or are they in Montreal? Because they're listed from Montreal, but the map shows Toronto. So I was going to send another email asking them, are you in Toronto or Montreal? Which would kind of affect what kind of price I would offer. You know, like, can you bring it here if you're there? And I went to click on the ad and that I had bookmarked, and it turns out, the day I wrote the ad on the 3rd, you know, it got sent, and I haven't heard back. And when I went to send the question, are you here in Montreal, on the 5th, I looked, and the ad had expired on the 4th. That's my kind of luck, where I find exactly what I want, and it's fantastic. I don't hear back from people, like about the, the little chihuahua that was in an accident, and she only had three legs, but they wanted her adopted, and I'm like, I'll adopt her. She's a year and a half old. I'll take her. I'll take her. No one ever calls back. No one ever writes back. 
I guess it's an internet thing or a phone thing. People just don't write stuff anymore or they don't bother. Like they don't think it's important because somebody else will come along and, and do stuff. But I, I now know what I'm looking for vehicle wise. And if I can get it now and uh, instead of when I sell the house, I could actually have a van to go on my two week vacation to Prince Edward Island with my friend instead of having to go in her car, which she said is smaller. and We have to really compact what we bring. But, I mean, you know, camper van, good price. If I can find one, all good. You know, I even went to the bank and, like, oh, don't even get me started with the bank. Uh, but they said try to find a dealer. Financing is better. They can give you a better price than anywhere else. So I've learned a bunch of stuff about cars I really didn't want to know. It's a lot more complicated than I thought. But, I mean, pretty much everybody's got, you know, just about everybody in our neighbor has a car, so I'm guessing this redneck eventually will figure out what's going on and get the proper vehicle. So, until next time, when I have more news, and I'm going to play with my toys, um, stay alive.